still learning how to do YouTubes. But, uh, hey, I got a spider web in my face. Spiders. Ew. But, uh, I've always been more of a dog person than a cat person. I mean, cats are cool. But, I don't know. Wait, I was always thinking of a story. It'd always be like, a boy and his dog, or some shit like that. But, um, I was, I, I don't know. I had this dog. I, I'll get to this. I had this dog. Her name was Casey. And just fucking, I loved that dog so much. I was like, oh, this puppy is adorable. Oh, thanks so much for getting me a puppy. And she'd be like, oh, no problem, son. Now, uh, all you gotta do is feed it, walk it, train it, shit like that. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait to get my dog to be, like, all loyal and make it my companion. All that dog fucking did was chew people's socks. It would, like, run up run up to your drawer and, like, it would, like, bite your feet if you had socks on it. And it would fucking, like... It was an asshole dog, seriously, like... You... <laughs> Ooh, it's a bird. Bird. But, um... It was an asshole fucking dog. It seriously, it was, like... It, like, go, you'd be, like... Okay, fetch the ball or something like that. Wouldn't go for the ball. It'd, like, bring back, like, a fucking, like... Carcass or something. Which, it, no, but you, 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 like, go, it would never, and any time I'm like, okay, I want, I want one dog that'll, like, I don't know, go on the beach, or go, go into the pool with me, because I have, like, a fucking, we have a pool in our backyard, and yeah, you've seen it, but, I always wanted it to, like, go in the pool, I'd be like, oh, come on, Casey, get in the pool, and we named it Casey after Kendall and Connor, so, I was like, oh, okay, it's, it's kind of cool, you can Kendall Connor. I saw my name with the C, C O N O R. It's an Irish, Irish way of uh, saying it. It also means uh, King of Ireland, and um, I think lover of dogs. Which I was fucking. When I found this shit out, I was like, "Oh, great!" Because I already had this reputation about fucking dogs, which I don't. I've never fucked an animal. That's disgusting. That's gross as shit. I was, ugh. I'm a fucking animal. Like, I don't, I don't care where you put your dick, but I wouldn't put it in an animal. Anyways, like I was saying, um, I, so we, we got this dog, and I wanted it to go swimming with me and stuff, and like, train it to be like, my companion, but it was just a fucking asshole dog, so I was like, whatever. And, <laughs> I just kind of let it, like, sit on its ass and get, like, really fat. So it got, like, all pudgy and stuff, and it would always, like, anytime we brought home, like, Oh, we got some dinner or something. It'd fucking jump up on the table and eat, like, all our dinner. And we'd be like, damn it, Casey. You fucking dog. Grab like a... Ew. Ew. Oh. I thought there was... I thought there was a... a like, a caterpillar in my fucking shoe. It scared me. <laughs> um, But we get this... Like, uh... We get this, uh, fucking... Mentality of where we're like, okay, we can't even fucking handle this dog because it was like scratching the door and shit. And we're just like, you know what? We just give the dog away. Why not? Just just give it away. So we, I I didn't want to give it up, but my mom, she kind of tricked me into giving it away. She was like, she was like, okay, we're gonna go on a fun family vacation, you know, to Illinois, not to Hawaii. We're going there, but I'm still pumped about that. But to fun fucking Illinois where you can hang out with your hick ass cousins and. Smoke all the pot you want. I'm like, fun, fun, fun. She didn't say that, but I do it. But, um... Ooh. Hell yeah. I'm gonna whittle something. But, um... So, we go to Illinois, and we drop it off with, like, these lesbian dog taker carers of... And they, like, groomed it, and they trained it a little bit to, like, where it could say... Where you could make it sit and, like, say come and stuff. And it would, like, run over to you. They trained it a little bit, and my mom... She still didn't, still wasn't, like, fucking fond of it. She's just like, oh, okay, well, you know, even though it's trained, we still have to, uh, we have to take her back for a, a checkup at, um, this, uh, at this one dog daycare place. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, I'll, uh, I guess I will, uh, let, let you take care of my dog. I love you, mama. And she's like, oh, I love you, too. I love you, too. Oh, oh, okay, so she takes the dog, she gives it to the people, and then, I'll get to the point, but, <laughs> she, she, she fucking, she gave the dog to them, and they're like, oh, okay, we'll, we'll take good care of her, see ya, have fun, have fun with doing whatever, and I go back to school, and I'm like, 
Hmm, so wait, Mom, when are we getting our dog back? She's like, never. So I'm like, oh, what? So we're just going to leave it there? And she's like, yeah, yeah, we're we're leaving it there. So I'm like, are we are we going to be able to pick her, pick her up? Or are we going to be able to, like, see her again? She's like, no. No, your dog, your dog's fucking dead. I'm like, oh, thank you. I love you too, Mom. She's like, oh, I love you, okay. Fucking have fun doing whatever you do. So now all we have is our cat. Our cat's cool, I guess. Um, our kit cat. His name is Ginger. Which, I fucking, I don't know. It's, it's okay. Other day, I brought in a hummingbird. And I was like, that is the coolest fucking hummingbird I've ever seen. But, it was like, I was like, a, yeah, I thought it was dead. And I was like, oh, dude, this is gonna be fucking awesome, man. My cat brought me a hummingbird. So, I was like, oh, dude, I should, I should totally, like, get this on film or something like that in my head. But then I'm like, nah, it's just, just dead, so why would I even bother? So, I go, I go and I pick up the hummingbird with a napkin, and I'm like, okay, all right, I set it by a bush, and I'm like, be free, Mr. Hummingbird. And the fucking hummingbird, it, it literally, it took off, like, right then and there. I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck is that? Oh, why do I keep talking like that? Yuck. Yuck. Got a bad, bad accent going on there. But I'm like, what the fuck was that? Um, anyways. <sighs> smell that glorious outdoor air. <sighs> smells good. It's like, it's like perfect out. It's like not too warm, not too cold. It's nice. You got your shorts on. I still, I don't know how to fucking tie my shoes. I don't know how to tie my shoes. I'm just too lazy. What is that plant rehabilitation? Like people getting fucking ripped over here? <laughs> so fucking funny. But, um, yeah, my mom and I kind of had a little fight, so I'm just like, just fuck that. I'm going for a walk. And yeah, um, I'll tell you, okay. So, this place, I was like my little, my 12 year old self. I really liked this chick, like, oh my gosh, she was, like, perfect. She read, like, all the same books as me. She was reading Homestuck. Um, she was, like, all up into my fucking, like, uh, business. She was, like, oh, and she's she was a really good artist. I actually think she's going to, like, some college with uh, drawing and stuff, which I can't, I can't really do. <laughs> um, I'm okay at it. I'll stick with stick figures or something like that, but... So she she goes she goes here, and she's like, she's like, oh you know, oh I really want to hang with you stuff like that. I'm like, oh yeah you're you're cool too, you know. Um, and they they actually they ended up taking over our old house, which I freaking I loved loved that old house. I just kind of like it more than our new house, but that's the point. It was easier to get into town stuff like that. Um, but yeah no, oh, oh Russell's. But she was like, oh, okay, you know, I'll, uh, I'll see you later or something. But one day in the summer, I was like 12, and I'm walking around with my friends, and my mom, she calls me, and she's like, oh, Mama Sita. That was, that was my ringtone. And I'm like, oh, what's up, Mom? And she's like, yo, Connor, you got to get back up here because this bitch be wanting your shit. And I'm like, oh, okay, no. She was just like, hey, this girl's at, this girl's at the house. She wants to hang with you. And... Something came over me. I'm like almost out of breath. Just every breathing. <laughs> but I get I I so I'm like, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Um Yeah, I'm gonna hang out with my friends and then they all go, Oh no dude, we gotta go. So I'm like, oh shit. My stomach started acting up. I'm like, oh my stomach's hurting. Um I'm not gonna I'm not going to be able to go back into the house. Because <laughs> I was just so nervous around this chick. But thinking back on it, I would have fucking loved to hang out with her. But I don't know. But so I come up here. I'm just sitting up here. And I wasted like two hours just fucking doing nothing. Just like looking around just being like, damn, how long does this thing go on for? And I blew that opportunity completely. <laughs> Um, it was, I don't know, she was, she was my first love, no, I was kidding, just to be for a little pussy, um, actually, no, nah, I don't, 
I don't think Justin Bieber's a pussy because the guy can get more tail than me. But son of a bitch, not dog tail, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hang this thing up.